In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can enable 120 frames on your Xbox console with an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If any of you are new here, make sure you like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos like this. Remember, comment any questions or queries down in the comment section below and also comment I subscribe down in the comment section below because I will be replying to all of them. So make sure you go do that. Now let's get into today's video. So the first thing you want to do guys is press your Xbox home button on your controller, then head down to settings. Once you're in settings, you want to head to TV and display options. And as you can see, I already have the 120 refresh rate already enabled. In order to enable this, you want to head down to video fatality and overscan, which is on the advanced settings in this mode. Once you're in there, you want to make sure it's on HDMI override, not auto detect. Otherwise you won't be able to enable the 120 Hertz refresh rate mode. So I'll quickly show you what happens if it's on auto detect. It'll only show you the resolution. You can only change it to between 180p and 720p i'll quickly back out of it to show you as you can see only the resolution is available to change and as you can see 720p you can only go down to so you want to go back into that you want to make sure it's on hdmi override and you want to click use manual settings so you can set it to 120 frames yourself and now remember guys it has to your monitor or tv has to support 120 frames in order this to work properly so you want to make sure you can and have the support for 120 frames on your tv or display or your monitor so make sure you have this and as you can see i'll change it back to 180p and then i'll change it to 120 refresh rate you can jump between 60 and 120 which i think is a great option so you can even still set it to 60 manually yourself if you want to be able to get like the highest 60 frame rate possible now you can also change it to 144p if your tv monitor or display supports it as well and you can also change your bits as well. I just have it on a low 24 so I can get the basically the max 120 FPS on my Xbox console. You can go higher if you have like an S or an X. I've got an S. I could probably go higher to be honest, but I'm not going to. It could probably support the higher bit rate. But um, if you want to get an Xbox One, I recommend just doing the 24 bits. Now that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos like this. And I'll catch you all in the next video.